Hey guys, have y'all 45 here. Uh, this is a, another November week, so another thing I'm going to tell y'all that I'm thankful for, and that is One Hit Wonders. Um, there's a lot of people who get into the music business, and a lot of them come out with hits. And once you make a hit, you think that you're going to be like big, but it doesn't happen like that all the time. And so you get people like One Hit Wonders. This person came out with one good song, and other than that, no one listens to any other song they have. Um, and I have a list of people that I haven't seen on anybody else's list of One Hit Wonders. But One Hit Wonders do come out with some great songs. Uh, if you look on anywhere else on YouTube and you search One Hit Wonders, you'll find a top 20 list, top 30, top best. And, you know, these One Hit Wonders came out with some great stuff. Now, some of these do come from the 90s late 90s early 2000s and i know that they were popular because back in the day if you're as old as i am you remember there was a channel called the box the box was a channel that you call in and you could tell them by the code they have for each one of the uh, videos they have what video you wanted to pay to see and i think it was like a dollar dollar 99 for you to uh, say what video you want to see and you got to see you got to see like uh, Jan Jackson we go deep uh, I get Jan Jackson's I get so lonely um, Sam is I like it you know it was basically you call it in some of these videos they were put in every hour it wasn't like there was time that they need to fill up there was always another video that was coming on and like today it was a lot of the popular videos like you can't go anywhere without hearing uh hometown road uh somewhere uh oh, it was a country road uh but i'm not going to try and hold this up anymore um the video i'm on play the first part of just see if y'all nostalgia will go up like mine does sometimes. If not, I'm going to tell you what it is. And if you're interested, you can go check it out. It's a couple one hit wonders. The rules that I try to keep to say if these people were still considered one hit wonders were basically Google. Um, a lot of times, if you Google someone's name, they'll come up with like. If I said Beyonce, it would say Beyonce the music uh musician or singer. Um American singer. That's how you know when somebody's made it. And it'll show the albums and stuff like that. And a lot of these people, there was no there was no artist or anything like that. It was just Google these names and see what you come up with. I had to put CD at the end of them to find even a picture of them. So let's start off with the first one. Have you heard that melody before? That is JS Ice Cream. They it starts out talking about uh, getting a scoop of their ice cream and they go through all the different flavors. And it's real sensual. And they did this with um, the music video actually had Ron Isley in it, but it was back during the time when R. Kelly was really seemed like a nice guy. Um, we're not going to really talk about his situations now, but. Um, at the time, R. Kelly was a big name. Him, uh, Ron Isa were working together on a lot of stuff, and they were working on producing these uh, people. In fact, one of the girls, if you ever heard Ron Isa's song Busted, she played uh, the voice of the girl that came in late at, late home, and he's asking her where she was at. And you see, Ashley, in the music video, that she was out with R. Kelly, and she... Uh, Left R. Kelly to get home to Ron Isley, Mr. Big, if you remember that. 
So, let's go ahead to the next one. Well, did that one sound familiar? That was Creep In by Ideal. Now, Ideal during the late, or I mean early 2000s, came out with a couple of good ones like Get Gone, Creep In. Um, those are two that I can think of right now. There was another one that they did with RL. Uh, I think it was Whatever You Want to Do. And. They had a lot of good beats, but the problem is, is that they're one hit wonder because all of it came off of one CD. Off that one CD, they, I don't know exactly why they weren't able to do any other CDs after that point, but from that one CD, they were a big success. RL followed a light, I said, did a song with them, and it was great, but they weren't able to do anything past that point. Um, haven't heard anything from him since. Um, so, let's go ahead to the next one. Up and down him. Motivate move. Get him step. Motivate move. Get him step. Oh, man, it's on. Oh, team don't take it down. Get him step. Yes, sir. Soldier, boy, get him step. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get him step. This my formation. Sir, yes, sir. Soldier, what is you looking at? Nothing, sir. Nothing, sir. Bitch your face. Bitch your face. One, sir. Okay, sorry for the roughness. Um, if y'all don't know who that is, that is Drama singing his song, Left, Right, Left. Well, yeah. And it was playing on every radio I heard down here in the South. And I saw it, like I said, on the box. It was su successful. I don't know what it was because that was during the time you want to say in like the late 90s and early 2000s where you had a lot of raps like that you had you had the no limit soldiers the uh cash money millionaires you know you had all these people out here rapping during that time and you know of course down here in the south you had three six mafia going on so you know that was a time when rap was busting so it's kind of odd that like drama wasn't able to come out or maybe it was just a single swim moment and he just wasn't able to hang but that's besides the point you know let's go check out another song Whoa. Wish I could have gave y'all some more of that one, but I couldn't because he kind of goes straight into the song after all that, oh, and all that stuff. So, but, do y'all know who it is? Of course y'all don't. It's a one-hit wonder. Um, the name of that group is called Liberty City, and the name of the song is 24-7. Um, the group came out with the song, and that's all I could find out about them. Uh, putting in Liberty City, I came out with a lot of stuff that had nothing to do with them, like Florida and uh, Grand Theft Auto. You know, <laughs> so what what you do? But they did make that song. Um, it's close to, I guess you would say, uh, the song anywhere, cause. That's what it's talking about. We can do it anywhere 24 7. All day and all night. L let's go on to the next one. Damn. What time is it? I 
I don't know if y'all know who that is, but that was a special one. Uh, I heard that a lot on radio. And it is a guy named Mark Nelson, and the song's called 15 Minutes. He talking about all he got is 15 minutes. He wakes up at home, wife just basically wearing an apron, flipping his eggs, and he said he won't flip her. That's it. You know, he, he like, I'm finna be late for work because she looks so fine. And that was, you know, <laughs> that was cool. Let, let's go ahead to the next one before I say something stupid. He loved everything about that girl. Now, y'all probably still don't know who he is. That guy's name is Doramus. Literally, I cannot find a single other thing that he's done besides that one song. And the song is called Freaky Mood. Doramus, Freaky Mood. And it is freaky. Uh, is it pretty Ricky freaky? No. Uh, but it... It's freaky. Um, so, and we get into my last video. So, I mean, last um, intro. And let's see what the last one is. Hola. Hola, na. Okay, a lot of y'all probably heard that song before. It's called uh, Don't Mind, and it's by Kent Jones. Now, I kind of cheated with it because one rule I kept for myself was that it had to actually be, the person had to have basically no name on uh, YouTube. I mean, not YouTube, on Google. So basically, if I searched their name, I came up with nothing. That was one of the rules. Because that means that you basically, your career didn't exist for the most part. And the other thing was that you had to have less than one CD. Looking on Wikipedia, which we know is a reliable source, I found out that he had three CDs. But, with his three CDs, on, that is the only song that he had that ever hit a chart. It made it number one in particular in um uh, in the US. So why is it that somebody who made it number one one time can't get up? He is literally a one hit one. He had one great hit and he tried to come out with some more stuff and you know but yeah this is the only song that he had that actually hit the charts which literally makes him a one hit wonder because he wasn't able to do anything else. And I'm thankful to these people. Because if you look at some of the songs that I have on that list, a lot of them are love songs. And they are a different way of looking at it. It's a different way of looking at it because you, back then, you know, you have your Next, your Silk, your 112, your, uh, back in the day, you had your R. Kelly, you had, uh, I'm trying to think of other people you had, uh, your Pretty Ricky and stuff like that. So you had people to like, I won't say love making music too, but these were some that like, I'm like, yeah, I, I can see. And you had people who came out with the same thing because like, um, Martin Nelson talking about, oh, you got 15 minutes to get to work, but he seen his wife in there like flip his eggs and he want to go ahead and flip her and how he don't have to explain that he can't come work. You know, that's almost like R. Kelly's, um, Sex in the Kitchen. Well, it's called In the Kitchen. But I just remembered it by the way he says in the song. You know, there were a lot of people who did stuff close to it. Um, and, but, no one has... I like these people views of... Because, kind of like if you read a story. You can get a story from several different points of view, and each one of them have their own unique way of doing it. So, it's cool to see somebody else's way of doing it, and I love the one-hit wonders because they were able to 
uh, bring with them this different way of looking at it. Like, but like personally, I'm a big idea fan. I listen back when I had they see I listen to it all the time. And the only reason I don't have now is I don't know where I put it. There are like tons of CDs that I have, and I don't know where exactly that CD went to. But I love listening to it. And I think the other problem with the CD was I listen to it so much that there's scratches in it and I can't hear it anymore because they're like certain songs just started glitching on me. But I loved Idea. I loved uh, their song Get Gone because he finds out that his girl cheating on him and he decides to tell her that she need to go ahead and get gone. <laughs> you know, get your bags, uh, get the hell on. Cause I, I don't want you no more. You know, I liked it. Um, so I am very thankful for um, One Hit Wonders. Because, yeah, they weren't able to be successful. But at least they were able to get their voice out there. Kind of like this channel. You know, this channel right now is just built off of friends and people who might have a similar interest in what I have. And I don't know if it's the versus battles, I don't know if it's the anime that I talk about, or if it's just the whole fantasy and science fiction stuff I talk about. But y'all like, at least some of y'all like and listen to what I say. And so, but the whole point is just for me to get my voice out there. Um, a lot of people don't, a lot of people are too timid to put their voice out there. So just giving the chance and taking the chance to say, put out what you want to say out there is always a great thing. Because it's not a lot of time that you'll get people willing to hear you out. So creating a YouTube channel, um, starting your business, you know, it lets you put out your viewpoints and Whatever you say I do, you know, you have to be able to express yourself. You can't be a drone and just do stuff the way other people want you to do it all the time. You have to show a way to express yourself. Uh, kind of like the Spider-Man, uh, even in the Spider-Verse, where you have all these uh, Miles Morales sitting up there, and his dad just wants him to conform to this new neighborhood school that they got him going to well the new neighborhood new school that hit they have him going to and he just wants to like spray paint to express himself like he's marking up places to express the person he is you know it might not be legal uh <laughs> per se but you know everyone has their own way of expressing himself some people have art some people have singing some people just have talking and you know, some people just, like me, want their views heard. So, thank you, you One Hit Wonders, who came out with these great songs and caught our ear for a second. And thank you, everyone, for listening to this channel. And I'll catch y'all later.